Tanya Chaplin, and as part of the DevSecOps Delivered series, I'm going to show you how to create both a security and a licensing policy, and then warn and then fail a build. So first I start off in my Nexus IQ server, and along the top, if I click on the Organizations and Policies section, it will take me to my policies. I want to create two local policies to my sandbox application. If you see on the left, it's within the sandbox organization team. And when I click sandbox application, on the right hand side, I can add a policy by clicking on this button. Let's start with this license policy. License weak copy left. I'm going to give it a threat level five. So that's a total score out of 10. The policy will have a constraint name, so license is weak copy left, and then it will also have a condition. So license threat group is weak copy left. With actions, because this is a moderate warning, it's only a 5 out of 10, I'm just going to warn throughout my software development lifecycle. And then I'm going to create the policy. I'm also going to create a security policy, so between 7 and 10. So CVSS score, so Common Vulnerability Scoring System, is between 7 and 10. So all a policy is, is Boolean logic. So you can see here, security vulnerability is greater than or equal to 7, and the severity is smaller than 10. For this one, the actions, I'm going to warn for the first three stages. However, as this is quite a serious policy, I'm going to put stage release operation. I'm also going to change the threat level to a nine. Now I can create my policy. So now I've created two local policies, security seven to 10, license weak copy left. However, when I go to my root organization, you can see they are not there. However, in Sandbox application, here they are and you can see the actions as well. So let's try this out in Jenkins. I'm going to go to my local Jenkins and I have two jobs already set up. One at build stage, one at staging. So I'm going to trigger these and then I'm going to pause the video until the build is ready and show you what's happened. Now my Jenkins jobs have finished, you can see the build sandbox application is unstable, but the staging sandbox application has failed. So let's have a look at what has happened. I'm going to open both jobs in new tabs. If I go to build sandbox application, I'm going to go to the latest build and look at the console output. So what I'm doing is I'm going to GitHub, I'm building, I'm doing some tests, and then you can see build success. Now Nexus IQ server steps in so you can see the scan of the jar I've just built and it's going through scanning components, scanning, scanning, and then what happens? Finished unstable. So build step, changed build result to unstable. And this happened for two reasons. So Nexus IQ reports policy warning due to policy security 7 to 10. And here you can see some of the components it's affecting. Similarly, Nexus IQ reports policy warning due to policy license weak copy left. So as you can see, it's finished unstable. Let's have a look what happened in our staging build. If I go to the last build, console output, it has the same beginning. I'm going to get, I'm build, oops, I'm building, testing, and then yet again build success because you know my code works. However, then yet again the Nexus IQ comes in scanning, scanning, but with this time finished failure. So why has this happened? Nexus IQ reports policy failing due to policy security 7 to 10. So you can see the components that are affected by the security policy. It is also reporting a policy warning due to the weak copy left. But obviously, the fail will supersede the warning. So let's have a look at the reports that are generated. So if I go first here, if I click on this link, it will take me straight back to my IQ server and I can see a report. So this is looking at the build scan. If I go here, you can see, for example, looking at this component, I go to the policy section. 
security seven to 10 build warning. However, when I look at this report, yet again, taking me to my IQ server, if I go to policy violations, you can see build failed. So this is how you can create both security and licensing policies and then use them to warn or even fail builds within Jenkins using the Nexus IQ server.